it's Kaylee. Today I wanted to show you some do-it-yourself ideas for the 4th of July. So first up, we're gonna need two foam brushes, some tape, two glass jars, red, white, and blue acrylic paint, and also a paintbrush. So you first wanna take off the caps, and then we're gonna line this first jar with tape, three lines of tape, make sure it's even all the way around because we're gonna be putting stripes. I would recommend painting it white first before you do the stripes. I wish I had, but you can still do it this way too. It looks cute either way. Take your foam brush, some red acrylic paint. Wherever you see clear, that's where you want to paint. You can also paint the top part too, but I decided not to. So I'm just painting all the way around. You want to do about three coats of this, so let the first coat dry. The thicker you do it, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I would say do a medium coat so it doesn't take forever to dry. Once you're finished with your first coat, make sure to let it air dry and then you can go ahead and work on the other two coats. So I'm going to take my second foam brush, some blue acrylic paint, and I'm painting in vertical strokes. Make sure you paint all the same way. You don't want your strokes looking all weird, you know. And I also painted the very top of the jar too. So there's my first layer, and I'm just gonna let it sit out and dry in the sun with the other jar. Once everything has dried, you can go ahead and take off the tape. And there you go. There's your first jar. For the second jar, I actually wanted to paint little stars on it, so I'm using white acrylic paint and a super fine, really small paintbrush. And I just start in the center with like a blob, and then I start ex extending out the star legs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this all the way around the jar, just, you know, freestyle it. Put stars wherever you wanna put stars. Make it your own, be creative. Don't forget to do two layers of paint on the stars too. Three if you want to, if you're feeling gutsy. And here's what they look like finished. And then you can put them on the table as little decorative pieces. I decided to use them as utensil holders, but you guys can do whatever you like with them. The first yummy treat I'm gonna show you guys how to make is white chocolate sprinkled strawberry. So you need white chocolate candy melts, strawberries, and blue sugar spark sparkles, sprinkles, <laughs> sorry, it's sprinkles. So in separate bowls, you pour the white chocolate and the sprinkles, and then you wanna heat up the white chocolate for 30 seconds at a time, stir, another 30 seconds stir until it looks like this. And then you dip your strawberries into the white chocolate and then into the sprinkles. And it's that simple. They actually taste really good too. Next one we're gonna make is sprinkled ice cream sandwiches. So you start out with, of course, an ice cream sandwich and some sprinkles. All you do is sprinkle the sprinkles onto the ice cream sandwich. It's very easy. And I just got these sprinkles at Safeway. I found the easiest way to do this is to sprinkle as you're rotating the sandwich in your hand. And that's it for the sprinkled ice cream sandwiches. I hope you guys enjoy these too. Just make sure not to leave them out for too long. The last thing we're gonna make is star cheese with wheat crackers. So you want Ritz whole wheat crackers, a cookie cutter set that has star shapes, and Colby Jack cheese. So to start off, I let Matt do this. You just want to cut the cheese into slices that are thin enough for you. Get your small star-shaped cutter. Place the sharp end down onto the cheese and then just push down to create your little star shaped piece of cheese and then you want to push down on each edge until the star pops out of the cutter and just lay it on the tray. Some of the pieces were a little harder to get out than others <laughs> so just keep going with it. Make sure to push each edge so that the cheese doesn't rip. Go ahead and place a couple crackers right next to the cheese and you are completely finished with the whole entire thing. I went ahead and set it on the table for everyone to come and eat. 
I bet you your family and friends won't be able to keep their hands off of this. Definitely send me pictures on my Instagram or Twitter if you guys decide to do this or just comment below. Next, we're going to be making red, white, and blue shorts. First thing you're going to be needing is Clorox. You want two parts water, one part bleach in your bucket. Go ahead and stir it all together. Don't forget to use gloves. And you want to push the ruler through the back three loops of your denim shorts. And then push the shorts to the middle of the ruler. And then slowly dip your shorts into the bleach and the water. The ruler will help the shorts stay up. And then you can use a claw clip too. And that'll keep the shorts level so that you get an even line. Let the water sit about an inch away from where you want it to because the bleach will run up the shorts. So now I'm preparing a little bath. It's two parts water and one part vinegar. This is what the shorts will look like after about 30 minutes of sitting in the bleach in the water. And here's a back view. Now I'm going to dunk the shorts in and out of the bleach in the water just to make sure that the color is all even and they're as white as I want them to be. So now we're putting them into the vinegar water bath for about 5 to 10 minutes. Take it out when it's done. The vinegar is going to stop the bleaching. That's why you want to use the vinegar. And then lay them flat to dry. Once they're completely dry, put it through the wash and then through the dryer. And that's my cat Nico saying what's up. So now onto the red dye part. What you want to do is bring a gallon of water to almost a boil. You want it to be steaming hot. And in a separate container, I microwaved two cups of water so it's nice and hot. And then I'm going to pour my dye into it and mix it all together. I used RIT dye. Make sure the dye is completely mixed in before you use it. So I'm pouring in the hot water into the bucket and then the dye into the bucket and make sure you mix it. I didn't get a clip of me mixing it, but make sure you mix it. And now I'm just dipping my shorts into the water and the dye. You want to slowly dip it about five to ten times until you get your desired color red. And then just let it hang to dry. Um, usually takes a few hours, but I used a fan to make it go faster. <laughs> this is what the shorts will look like once you're finished. And I actually went through a couple shorts just to get to this final product here. You really have to follow the instructions exactly. And I love the way that it ends up looking. It's very 4th of July. -y. It's got that great ombre effect going on. The back looks awesome, but I think I might want to make the red dye go up a little bit more in the front. But other than that, those are my shorts. Here are a few quick outfit ideas I thought you guys would like. So for the first outfit, I'm wearing a heart tank top, red shorts, and combat boots. My tank top is from Charlotte Russe. I just bought it the other day. My red shorts are from Karma Loop. And my boots are from DSW by the brand Madden Girl. The second outfit's a little more dressed up, but still fun. My white halter top is from Victoria's Secret. My shoes are actually from Charlotte Russe and they were only $12. It was a major deal. And this awesome blue studded skirt is from Karma Loop. This third outfit is more artsy and cute. So my jean vest is from Karma Loop. It has stripes on one side and stars on the other. It's awesome, I love it. My shoes are from Charlotte Russe. My leggings are from H&M. And this awesome graphic t-shirt is from Karma Loop also. that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all these do-it-yourself projects and outfit ideas. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!